In this video, we will show you how to protect your content by securing it with a password. Only visitors who enter the correct password will be able to access the hidden content. Let's get started. First, make sure the Unlimited Elements Pro version is installed and activated on your WordPress site. Then head over to Unlimited Elements, Widgets and use the search bar to find protected content. Hover over it and click Install to add the widget to your site. Next, go to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the protected content widget from the Widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. Make the widget full width. In the general settings, choose the protection type as either single password or multiple passwords. Enter the password that will be used to access the content. You can use the hash SHA256 password option as well. You can easily generate the hash of your password using online tools such as the SHA256 hash generator. Enter the SHA256 hashed value of the password in the password field instead of the plain text password. This will prevent the password from being exposed on the front end. Set the content alignment to either Start, Center, or End. In the Layout options, set the Show Title option to Yes to display a title. Enter the title as needed. Set the Show Description option to Yes to display a description. Write the description as needed. Enter the desired button text. Select the graphic element as either an icon or an image. Choose the graphic image accordingly. Set the Show Input Placeholder option to Yes to display an input placeholder. Enter the placeholder text accordingly. In the Protected Content settings, choose the Protected Content source as a text editor, template, or an image. We will use the template option in this tutorial. I have already created an Elementor template for this page. Select the Elementor template you want to display. Enter the error message that will be displayed when the wrong password is entered. In the cookie options, set the cookie name, cookie expiration days, cookie expiration hours, and cookie expiration minutes accordingly. For designing in the editor, you can choose to show only protection, only protected content, or show both. Also, you can enable the debug error message if needed. Once you've added the content, you can start configuring the widget style settings to match your design needs. Adjust the wrapper's width and height, padding, background color, graphic elements width and height, typography and color, password input and button styling, and more to ensure the protected content widget seamlessly integrates with your website's design. To wrap up the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.